Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, I get it. So you want me to take the stereo file, split the two channels up into mono files, and then take those mono files and turn those back into stereo files. Yeah, no, 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 I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll send those over as soon as they're ready. All right, all right, man. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. So that was Ryan Brockmeyer. He's the director of Midway Documentary, The Story of Chicago Hip Hop. He asked me to take a single file that was recorded in stereo, but each of the stereo channels has a different mic attached to it. So he wants me to separate those and then take those mono files and turn those into stereo files. So if someone asked you to do that, what's the first thing you would do? Me? I would run the intro. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carlos, and I hope you're having a lovely day. Today I had a conversation with Ryan Brockmeyer. He's the director of Midway, the story of Chicago hip hop. And last night they were doing an interview with two people, and what happened was there was two mics, two lapel mics, one on each interviewee, and then those lapel mics, and this is a lapel mic, it's basically those small mics with a little wire. And what you do is you connect it to your shirt and then this wire runs down. If your wire is long enough, it would run directly to the camera. Otherwise you would use some sort of maybe a Bluetooth or some sort of wireless device to get the audio from this mic to the camera. Well, if you use a splitter like this one, what you can do is connect one of your lapel mics, your lav mics, your lavalier mics, all of those are the same, they're describing the same kind of mic, right? So that one is connected there. And let's say you have something like this Rode Video Mic Pro, which would be considered a shotgun mic. If you connect that to the other side of the splitter, and then you take this guy and plug this into the receiver or if your camera has a built-in audio port, you plug that in there. You're gonna get the sound from both of these mics, but the thing is, it's going to, when you're recording in stereo, you have two tracks, the left side and the right side, and you guys have seen cables like this before, right? This usually comes out of your, whatever, your TV or, uh, or something, but one of these sides well, these go into the speakers and one is left and one is right. So what this, what's happening here is this microphone is going to take one of those tracks and this microphone is going to take the other track. Ryan sent me a WAV file. Like I explained before, it was in stereo, but one track had the left side and the other track had the right side and both of those were basically competing interviewees. So now what we have to do is take that audio file, split it up and turn everything into stereo. So let me show you how to do that in Adobe Audition. Let's go to the computer. Okay, so now I have Adobe Audition open. What I'm going to do is grab the audio file and just drag it into Audition. And here we go, you see it's being loaded and you see the two tracks here. We have the left track and the right track. What I'm going to do is turn off the right track by clicking the little R here, and you see how it's grayed out? That's exactly what we want. So now if I play this audio, you can hear just that one interviewee, whereas if I turn off the left track and turn on the right track, we'll be able to hear the other guy. So now what we need to do is separate these tracks. So I'm gonna turn off the right side. Now all I have is the left track and that's all we're gonna be able to hear if I played back. So what I'm gonna do is I need to select this entire track. There's three different ways to do this. One, you can do Command A, or if you're on PC, Control A, or double click and then it'll select the entire track. Or you can even go up to edit, drop down to select and hit select all. 
Okay. So now that we have all of that selected, what I'm going to do is go to File, Save Selection As, and here I'm going to make sure that it's saving to the Midway Audio folder. And I'm going to click here and I'm going to rename this left. So it's the original track name underscore left. And then I'm going to make sure that it's saved as a wave. So now the reason why you want to save as a wave is because it the quality remains a high quality file. If you save something as an MP3, it kind of it loses a little bit of the quality. It's the same approach as when you're saving an image file, right? So if you save as a TIFF, a TIFF file is going to be bigger, but the quality is going to be bigger. You save a JPEG, the quality is a little bit less. And every time you save a JPEG over and over and over again, you lose a little bit more quality. So MP3 is to JPEG as WAVE is to TIFF. So here we are back. I'm going to go ahead and hit save for the left and I'm going to then lock down the left or gray it out and I'm going to turn on the right channel and again I'm going to double click or control command A or whatever. So now I have that selected. I'm going to hit file, save selection as and I know that it's going to the right folder but this time I'm going to save right. Okay, hit save there. So now what I'm gonna do is go back to the folder and grab the left and the right files that we just created. And I'm gonna drag those over to Adobe Audition. Now I'm gonna double click on the left file. So now that I have those files loaded, I'm gonna go to favorites, convert to stereo. And now it's going to take that audio, process it, separate it, and now we have a mono file that just turned into stereo. Why would you want a stereo? Well, that comes in handy for when you're listening. Cause there was a couple of you guys that yelled at me for a previous video where I thought I was recording in stereo, but you guys were listening to, it was the, um, the lip sync video that I did. And I didn't, I didn't go through the entire process of listening to it with the headphones on. So it was only mono and there was a couple of you guys that gave me a hard time. I should have done this. I didn't realize that it was mono. So now we know and, and we should be good. One of the other things that I'm going to do while we're here is I'm going to just increase the volume just a little bit. Because I would rather give Ryan a file that might be a little too loud and have him give him the flexibility to bring down the audio just a little bit. Rather than him taking a file that's too low and trying to increase the volume because it might come out, the audio might just not come out quite right. I would rather give him too much to deal with so that he can tone, tone it back down. So now that we have that done, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now we're going to do the same thing to the right. Go up to favorites, convert to stereo, increase the volume just a little bit. Listen to it just to make sure. All right, we're going to save that. So now that that's saved, what I'm going to do is take all these files, package them all up and send them back to Ryan. And then what I'll do is after I create this video, I'll send him the link to this video so now he knows how to do this. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Ryan. I know he's gonna watch this and I know he's gonna be. Look, dude, I'm here. So there you have it. That's how you take a single stereo file, split the channels into left and right, and then taking those and turning those into stereo files. Nice and simple. Thank you Adobe Audition for all of your help. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, share this video with your friends and tell them that we are here learning about videos 
filmmaking, animation, drawing, all that good stuff. If you don't mind, I would highly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Later.